Cruising on open water may just be the world's greatest tranquilizer. We are on our way to Catalina Island, barely 20 miles from Los Angeles, but worlds away in every other sense. We started our voyage at Marina del Rey, California, home to about 6,500 private boats. Most of them are just beachfront property 99% of the time. That's a shame, especially when it's so easy to cast off for Catalina. There are really just three basic destinations on Catalina. The island's only town, Avalon, the tiny isthmus outpost of two harbors, or any of the remote anchorages along the shores. You can buy just about anything in Avalon. Two Harbors offers less. There's really just one restaurant bar and one general store. Anywhere else along the island's shores, you're on your own. A morning departure often means fog, but it generally burns off before long. If you have radar, you might consider a late night crossing that'll get you there at first light. Time to unfurl the sails. Your voyage to Catalina really begins after you've left harbor and entered the open ocean. Well, make that pretty open. You won't be alone. There are many other vessels in the Catalina Channel at all hours. Some of them are very, very big. The shipping lanes are clearly marked on the charts. Wherever you are in these waters, someone must be on watch at all times. About 10 miles south of Marina del Rey, we're just off the Palos Verdes Peninsula. As you can see, it has a lighthouse. From here, we steer a little to port, and that puts us right on course for Avalon Harbor. That's Catalina becoming visible through the haze. Remember how cloudy it was on shore when we left? The weather on the mainland is not a reliable indicator of the weather you'll encounter during your crossing or on Catalina itself. The winds, skies, and seas can change quickly and dramatically here, so be prepared. The good news is that Catalina's weather is usually sunnier and more pleasant than the mainland's. As we expected, the winds and seas are more intense as we near the island. That's the isthmus to starboard, but we'll visit Avalon first. From whatever direction you approach this beautiful little town, the postcard landmark is the casino on the west side of the harbor. 